Okay, great. Thank you everyone for joining today's weekly Wednesday webinar hosted by TAG. I'm Leilani Evans, Construction Software Sales Associate at TAG, and I will be your moderator for today's webinar session. Um, today's session is going to be hosted by Core Associates, our partners, um, the makers of TimberScan, and we've also invited our subject matter expert for today's topic, Avid Exchange. Uh, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and hand it off to Lee Ann, our host at Core Associates, and then following that, we'll welcome Casey Timmerman, who is our subject matter expert. Perfect. Great. Well, thank you very much, Leilani. Uh, hello, everyone, and welcome. Uh, today we're going to be introducing a webinar series that we're hosting jointly with TAG and Avid Exchange. The focus of the series is a paper-free and automated solutions for the procure-to-pay process. Uh, considering recent events, many of you may have been faced with a new virtual reality, and that could still very well be your current reality in some cases. Our goal has been, and it continues to be, providing tools and automated solutions that allow you to adapt and thrive and get your job done as quickly and efficiently as possible, uh, making sure you're connected, organized, and information is accessible and available by all stakeholders. Throughout the series, we're gonna take a look at the entire procure to pay process from the time you create the purchase order or requisition through to making the payment. All right, this here is an illustration of the procure to pay process. Uh, Core Associates has been able to address the first three of these steps for many years. And, but we've been missing the last step in the process, which is the ability to make automated and electronic payments. So we partnered with Avid Exchange about a year and a half ago, and we're very excited to be able to now offer a complete end-to-end -end, uh, process for this uh, payment solution. So many of our customers already use Create a Check software and the Avid Pay Network. So we've worked with Avid for many years. Uh, it was just a natural fit and made sense for us to formalize the relationship uh, with the Avid team. And so that's what we've done. There's four steps in the process, and we're going to focus on uh, throughout the series. And all of these steps can be done without touching any paper. I'm going to start over here on the left. The first step in the process is purchase orders, requisitions, and receiving tickets. And those can be created using our core cloud systems, or CCS as we call it, our field purchasing solution. Right? The documents, they can be created from anywhere on any device. And CCS is integrated with both TimberScan and Sage 300 CRE. Now, once the purchase orders are created, they can be sent to Sage 300 to create your commitments. And then the electronic purchase order is sent to TimberScan. Once you've um, finished your receiving ticket and that's been completed, those receiving documents, they also get sent to TimberScan electronically. So then you have both your purchase order and your receiving tickets available in TimberScan as what we call supporting documents. So they're there so you can do your three-way match or two or three-way match when the invoice hits your door. TimberScan can also serve as your central repository for managing all invoices and documents. You would route, capture, and approve invoices and documents within the TimberScan system. And then once those invoices are approved, they would flow to Sage, so the third step here, into your ERP system without rekeying of any data. Right? So we've taken it from the purchase order through TimberScan into the ERP system, completely paper-free, without touching a piece of paper. Now, when you're ready to pay those invoices, that's where uh, Avid comes into play. So today, this is part one of our webinar series. And our focus is gonna be on this last step here, making automated payments. So Casey's gonna take us through the payment process and talk about Avid Exchange's automated payment solutions. We'll look at how you can take your paper or your payment process paper free. And then we're also gonna touch on other benefits of Avid Pay, including security, visibility, and the ability to be able to earn rebates. Now we're taking a bit of a different approach by starting with what you would typically think as the uh, end portion of the procure to pay process. But we've been getting a lot of inquiries uh, lately surrounding electronic payments. So we wanted to start with payment solutions and then we'll have another session at the end of the series highlighting Avid Exchange's payment offerings again. 
but implementing Avid Pay, it can be a really quick win for companies that are looking for a solution now and really need uh, relief if that's a challenge you're facing. All right, I'm going to go ahead and, and turn it over to Casey to uh, go ahead and kick things off. So again, thank you, Leanne and Leilani. I appreciate the opportunity to talk a little bit about um, Avid Exchange and our Avid Pay product. Um, a little bit about me. I've uh, Again, my name is Casey Timmerman. I've been with Avid Exchange for uh, a little over five years now. Um, I actually originally started with a company called Piracle, which uh, were the developers of the Creative Check software. And some of you may have heard of that. Um, but we also, um, about the same time I started, around five years ago, Avid Exchange purchased Piracle uh, and the two companies merged together. It's been a great fit. Uh, Avid Exchange is a, an account payable automation company. And uh, with that, um, you know, create a check, uh, which is a check printing software, and we'll talk more about it in a minute. Um, it, it just made a, a, a really good fit and a good marriage for the two companies to, to come together. Um, a little bit about who Avid Exchange is. So we started in uh, 2000. And, you know, again, when I started about five years ago, we had... Uh, between Piracle and Avid Exchange, there were, um, you know, not quite 200 employees. Um, but now you can see we're well over 1,400 employees. And so a lot of growth over the last five years. I've seen a lot of change. Um, Avid Exchange is headquartered out of Charlotte, North Carolina. Uh, we do have offices throughout the country. A uh, large office in Salt Lake City. That's actually the office that I headquarter out of. Um, but we also have an office in uh, Boston, Houston, New Jersey, uh, Alabama, and uh, I'm probably missing one, but uh, those are our main offices. And uh, we have over uh, 5,500 in uh, customers that are using our product. Uh, so that's pretty exciting with that number. Um, as far as our network, we do have the largest payment network in the country for mid-size uh, companies. Uh, we have over 600,000 vendors that are that make up the Avid Pay network. And then last year, we processed over 12 million payments through our Avid Pay network. And uh, that totaled around $120 billion processed through that network. Um, and then a couple of uh, recognitions that we've received, we are on the Forbes top 100 cloud companies uh, at number 38. So that's uh, pretty exciting and we're proud of that. As well as Deloitte's um, fastest technology company uh, in the top 500 there. So um, you know, some good accolades that Avid has received. So that's a little bit about who we are. Um, let's talk now a little bit about, you know, what the Avid Pay Network is and you know, what some of the advantages or values that you get out of the Avid Pay Network. The first is uh, efficiencies. So you're able to become uh, more efficient by not having to print paper checks uh, when you're ready to make a payment. Um, there's no more printing those checks, you know, folding them, stuffing them in the envelope and mailing them out. Uh, we, we would take all that on for you. Um, as well as you're not having to maintain uh, your vendor uh, bank account information if you're, if you're doing what we call a self-managed ACH. You, uh, there's no need for that either. We, we gather that information um, as part of that uh, added pay, payment network of over 600,000 vendors. The other thing is you actually will gain more visibility into your payments uh, and where those payments are within the payment process. So you know, um, has the payment been issued? Has it cleared the bank? Has, you know, has the vendor actually received it and cashed it? Uh, you'll know exactly where that payment is within that whole process. Uh, and you'll have 24 seven visibility into that. Uh, the next is uh, scalability. Um, with this, there's, there's really two sides of this. As far as the network goes, our Avid Pay Network, we are actually adding 1,500 new vendors to that payment network 
every week. So that, that network is constantly growing as well as, um, you know, if your companies are growing and you have more payments to do, you're not having to hire additional staff because that whole process is automated. Uh, you're able to handle the volume uh, through the Avipay network and, and scale that way. The other is security. Um, any payment that we make on your behalf is done via secure uh, connection, as well as if, if we're actually sending out a check on your behalf, a paper check on your behalf. We have some uh, uh, systems in place. For example, we have a positive pay. We actually have a hybrid positive pay, which uh, checks against the payee name and the dollar amount and the check number. So if, if somebody tried to uh, send a forged check, uh, we would catch that uh, through our secure uh, positive pay network. And then the other thing is control. Um, we're able to uh, provide control. Like in this, uh, I think Leanne mentioned this, in this day and age where you know a lot of you, uh, like myself, are working from home uh, because of corona, um, this gives you the ability to um, approve your checks. You're not having to have a check signer go into the office, get the paper checks, sign them. Um, it, it can all be done remote uh, through our, uh, what we call our pay control section. Also that can be used for uh, cash flow reasons. So your, your check approver uh, has the ability to hold onto those payments as long as they need uh, and then release them when they're when they're ready to release that payment. So they have a uh, complete say on when that payment is, uh, is made. And then lastly, is uh, we actually are paying rebates on any payment that we convert to an electronic payment or that we pay your vendors electronically. And right now we're averaging about a 40% adoption of the payments that run through our network. 40% of those are going electronic and you're getting paid a rebate on those, which can actually turn your accounts payable uh, process or your payment process into a profit center and, and, and actually earn a little bit, as well as uh, you know, save money on not having to mail out you know, a 50 cent postage stamp, uh, your check stock, if it's pre-printed, it's 20 cent, um, your envelope is seven cents. So that's about uh, 75 cent right there for every check that you mail out the door uh, it, it's costing you that, that you can save running it through our automated payment network, okay? So with that, let's, let's dive deeper into uh, the two products that I wanna show you today, which are Create a Check and Avid Pay. The first will be uh, Create a Check. So let's, let's talk a little bit about that. Um, so Create a Check really has a, a twofold purpose. First of all, Create a Check gives you the ability to create a paper check off of blank check stock. So you can get rid of your pre-printed check stock, which can really be a liability. I assume everybody is probably keeping their pre-printed check stock under lock and key uh, because if somebody were to get a hold of that, they could actually go out and create checks on your account. With create a check and blank check stock, there's no risks there. You could have that sitting out on the table. It's not, your name's not on that check. The Micker line's not on the bottom of the check. So it's impossible for anybody to go and create a check off a of blank check stock. So um, it gives you that big security risk or uh, eliminates that security risk. The other thing is it, uh, uh, blank check stock is a lot cheaper than pre-printed check stock and a lot more convenient. If you have multiple uh, checking accounts that you're having to print um, paper checks out of, uh, with blank check stock, you don't have to go or remember to go to the printer, switch out your check stock. Um, you just send that information uh, you know, from your accounting system to create a check and then create a check will put the correct accounting account information on that uh, blank check stock. And so it makes it a lot more convenient. Okay. So the other thing that create a check does other than gives you the ability to print checks in house on blank check stock is it also acts as a conduit between your sage 300 CRE or 100 um, or your sage accounting system to our avid paid network. 
And what I mean by that is we have set up a, a virtual uh, printer, which I'll actually show you on my next slide, um, that you select that virtual printer and it automatically pulls in your payment batch from Sage into Create a Check. And then Create a Check is going to ask you, do you want to send that check uh, to the printer to print a check locally? Because you know, we understand that, you know, probably 100% of your checks, it's tough to automate those. You might have, you know, on occasion vendors wanting to come pick up a check or maybe you need to send an employee to the, you know, the city offices with a check. Um, so there are times where you need to print a check, um, but you can do that off of blank check stock. Uh, but again, create a check will uh, ask you, do you want to send it to the printer? to print a check locally or to our Avid Pay Network to automate that payment process, okay? Um, so as I mentioned, we've uh, created a virtual printer. This is actually a screenshot in Sage 300 of the, the, the printer that we've created, the virtual printer, uh, it's called the Pyracle Printer. So once you set that up, when you go to print your checks, it automatically launches Create a Check and pulls your payment batch into Create a Check. And then in Create a Check, um, you'll just authenticate yourself, put in your password. Uh, as I mentioned, Create a Check asks, do you want to send it to the Avid Pay Network or do you want to print it locally? So you select which option you want to choose. If you select, uh, I want to send it to the Avid Pay Network, then you'll also get a authentication or a, a screen pops up where you put in your username and password for the Avid Pay Network, which can be the same as your Create a Check password. And then that gets you um, into Avid Pay and uploads those payments. And, and then you're done. That's, that's all you have to do. There's nothing new or uh, in addition to that, those payments are now gonna be made by us. And uh, kind of how that works, is uh, this slide here. This gives you kind of a high level overview of how that process works. So again, in your accounting system, you indicate which invoices you wanna pay, just like you do today, no, no change there. Um, you send that to create a check uh, through that virtual printer that we just looked at. Then if you have a, a check signer or somebody that has final say on those payments that get approved, um, you, would, you would have them log into our uh, approval section or our pay control section. They then can approve those payments. They'll also receive an email letting them know that there are payments pending their approval with the link. So it makes it very easy for that check approver to know that uh, payments are uh, needing approval. And it, again, it can all be done remote. Once those uh, payments are approved, we then are going to ACH the money out of uh, your checking account, and you can have as many checking accounts as you need, um, but we'll, we'll ACH the fund out of that account and move it into a holding or clearing account. And then we're making those payments on your behalf from that clearing account. Um, there are three methods that we have as far as making those payments. So we can make them via a virtual card which is basically a credit card. So if your vendor is set up to accept credit cards as a form of payment, we can pay them uh, via a virtual card. Uh, a virtual card is a one-time use credit card. Uh, it's almost like a prepaid card. And so once the vendor processes that credit card, that card number is no longer valid. Um, and and uh, it, it's a lot more secure that way. So um, you know, once they, once they process the card, it's been run, it's no longer a valid number. Um, the other option that we give your vendors is what we call Avid Pay Direct, which is a, an ACH or direct deposit into their account with enhanced remittance detail that goes with that deposit. Um, there's also some other services that go with that. And, and if they wanna get set up with that process, we can get them set up for Avid Pay Direct. And then the third option is just to continue to receive a paper check like they do today. Uh, but what's nice is we will be the ones printing those checks, folding them, stuffing them in an envelope and mailing them out and automating the whole process on your end. So you're not having to, to do that manual work. So those are the, uh, the three payment options that we give your vendor. We let them choose. Uh, it's up to them on how they get paid, um, but we give them uh, choices. 
as far as the timeline goes, um, let's say today you sent us a payment batch before three o'clock Eastern, that's our cutoff. What will happen tonight is we'll ACH the funds out of your account into that holding account. Then tomorrow, day two, um, we will send the virtual card information if they're receiving a, a, a virtual card payment, we'll send that information to the vendor. If they're receiving a paper check, we will print the check and put it in the mail tomorrow. Um, and if they're receiving a, a direct deposit or Avid Pay Direct, we'll, uh, we'll initiate that ACH tomorrow. And then on day three, they'll actually see those funds available in their account and receive their remittance email so that they know how to apply those funds. Uh, and when I say day three, that's really the day after tomorrow. It's not three days from today. It's not tomorrow, the next day. Sometimes I, I like to clarify that. So um, with that, let me actually jump into the product and um, give you a live demo. So I'm gonna exit out of my PowerPoint. First thing we're gonna talk about is create a check. And I, I won't spend a lot of time here because really create a check, once you get it set up, it pretty much runs itself. There's not a lot that uh, is going on in create a check. Uh, but uh, the first section here is my account section. This is where you would actually set up your different accounts that you have. Uh, so if you have multiple companies or different checking accounts that you're printing checks out of, that would be done in create a check. You would go in and uh, put in your company information. So the information that you see here is typically on a pre-printed check stock, but instead of having it on pre-printed checks, we store it in create a check. And then we merge the information from Sage and create a check and, and create that uh, um, check that uh, you can then send off to your vendors if you needed to do a check in-house. Again, this is just for those checks that are being printed there locally at, at your location. You would also put in your bank information that also prints on the check. If you want a digitized signature on your check, you can do that as well. Uh, and you can put dollar thresholds. So, you know, in my example here, you can see from zero to 5,000, I have the create a check uh, signature showing up from 5,000 to 10,000, I have both signatures. And then anything over 10,000, I have to manually sign. So you get to define that and what that looks like. The other section uh, that I wanted to just quickly show you here and create a check is the uh, um, where you go in and you tell the system what format or what you want your checks to look like. For example, I have a I have just a sample here of um, one of the formats that Sage offers. So Sage offers really six formats. Um, this is what we call Micker Six. Um, this is a very common format. Uh, this one and, and Micker 4 are probably the most popular, but this is the layout. So you've got date, invoice, description, invoice amount, um, retainage, or on, on the Micker 4 option, instead of saying retainage, it actually says deduction and then balance. And that's the only difference between 6 and 4, which are, again, are the most common. And then here's what the check looks like. This would be your company information. You could put your logo on there if you want, your bank information. And then, that, of course, that Micker line down there at the bottom, uh, we're, we're putting all that information on that check. So that's just kind of a sample of what a check would look like printed out of Sage. Um, the other thing that you can choose is if you want the check on the bottom, do you want it dual stub, single stub? You know, you get to select that from uh, this particular section in Create a Check. Okay, so now I'm going to move into uh, Avid Pay real quick. Um, so again, Avid Pay is a SaaS based product. Uh, so as long as you have internet connection, you have access to the portal, you can uh, look up payments, you can see where your payments are, you can approve payments. All this can be done remotely. It can be done off a smartphone or a tablet, um, but I'm gonna log into the portal and it's going to show me uh, the batches that I've sent or a history of the batches. Now, because this is just a demo portal, I only have one batch. You would probably have a whole page of batches. But if I want to see the detail of that one batch that had three payments in it, I can click on that batch and it shows me those three payments. So I can see exactly where those payments are within the payment process. If, if it's 
a check that's been printed and the check is in the mail, it would say issued. If the check had cleared, you could see it would actually say cleared. Um, also, anytime that a check has cleared, um, it's also going to show you proof of payment. So if you ever have a vendor call you and say, hey, we never got that payment. Well, you know, yeah, I show that it cleared. You could click on that proof of payment and it will give you a PDF of the actual uh, front and back image of the check in a PDF form. So you could easily email it to them if you needed. Uh, with some other information uh, in the header. Uh, so that's our proof of payment in there. You can also dive a little deeper into those payments um, and look at invoice number, uh, invoice date, you know, invoice amount, any discounts if there were any, and where that payment is. So you can get detailed information about that payment. Uh, the other section is that approval section that I mentioned earlier. This is where your check signer or your check approver or your payment approver would go. Um, so you can see I have three payments that are pending my approval. So again, I can come in here, look at these. I can drill down a little deeper and see, oh, okay, this is for two different invoices. Uh, one for $1,000, one for $200. Uh, the date of the invoice, a description off of the invoice. If that all looks good, I can go ahead and hit approve. If maybe I have a question on it, I could even, uh, you know, put that payment on hold and, um, you know, put a comment of why I'm putting that particular payment on hold. You know, you know, hold till Friday. Maybe it's a very large payment. So for cash flow reasons, I want to hold it. Or maybe I'm waiting for a lien waiver or, you know, whatever. You can, you can indicate what you want to, uh, the reason why you're putting it on hold and then you can run a report. Um, and it also puts all those at the bottom of my list, anything that I put on hold. Okay. The other thing you can do uh, within Avid Pay is you can also run reports. If you ever needed to, you know, see all the payments that you've done for a particular vendor uh, or during a particular time range, uh, you can do that. Um, and then it'll give you everything that meets your selection criteria as well as uh, you can dump that into an Excel spreadsheet. And, um, you know, and then you can do the things that Excel will do for you where you can, you know, maybe you wanna know how, you know, how your payments are going out or which vendors are taking uh, virtual cards, you know, because you're getting paid rebates on those and which, pay, which vendors are taking checks. So you can, you can identify that from this particular, you know, report very easily, okay. Um, so with that, that's really our Avid Pay network and uh, sending those payments through the vendor network. Um, I'm going to go back to my PowerPoint and um, I've just got kind of a closing uh, statement with that as far as um, I, I really like this quote. I'm not, I'm not sure where it comes from, if, if our marketing department thought it up or, or if it actually comes from somewhere. but. I think it's good and so I'm gonna read it. Continuing to do today's job with yesterday's methods delays profitability for business tomorrow. I think, I think that says a lot. Um, and I have another one here by Peter Drucker. Um, the greatest danger in times of turbulence is not the turbulence, it is to act with yesterday's logic. And I think in today's world that, that kind of, uh, uh, really kind of sums things up, um, um, you know, with, with kind of the curveball that everybody's been thrown with, uh, with uh, COVID-19 and, and, you know, having to work from home and, and, and having your, your offices locked up and not being able to go in, um, you know, this gives you a solution for that. You know, thank Leanne and Leilani for the opportunity uh, to, you know, present Avid Exchange and our Avid Pay Network um, and create a check. Um, but yeah, if, if, if you think of a question down the road, um, those two know how to get a hold of me. And so um, love to talk to anybody further about uh, either product, create a check and the Avid Pay. All right, great. Well, um, yeah, no, thank you, Leilani, as well, and, and Tag, of course, for 
hosting the session. I uh, hope everyone found it to be helpful and informative and uh, ask uh, attendees just to please join us you know, next Wednesday, the 17th at 10 a.m. Pacific time. And we're gonna review how you can get rid of your paper purchasing process. Uh, we'll show you how to create electronic POs, requisitions and receiving tickets from anywhere on any device uh, integrated with both Sage 300 and CRE, uh, 300 CRE and TimberScan. So I hope you all can make it. Okay, great. Thank you so much, Casey, and thank you, Leanne. Thank you. Again, I appreciate the opportunity. Thank you very much.